So Grant Taylor had the magic moment tonight. What is that? It's just that we call the tipping point between winning and losing. So whenever we win a game, we recognize the, the there's a lot of key spots, but the key spot. And for me, it was after we went out and scored three in the first, and we got in a little trouble, second and third, no outs. And to get out of that with uh, retiring three consecutive hitters and only one run crossing the plate, for me, that was the, the tipping point in the game tonight. Just kind of talk about the pitching overall, you guys. After Garrett's uh, kind of rough outing to begin, he they only gave up two hits the entire night throughout the entire staff. What did you, you see out of your guys? Outstanding. Today? Yeah, the, the bullpen continues to be awesome, continues to be a strength of this team. I really believed that it would be, and it's it's bearing out. That was a big time performance tonight by the, all of those guys. It seems like Grant also had a good outing even at the end of the Louisiana Tech yeah, game last week. So can you maybe elaborate on what has made him so effective and what makes him special? Yeah, he's really talented. First off, it's a big arm. I mean, it was up to 98 miles an hour up there. I think it was up to 94, 95 tonight. Uh, really good break and ball, good changeup. But he's really mature too. Like, I mean, you're talking about a four point Brazilian student. Um, I don't know if he's had a B in his life. Um, really disciplined. Um, you know, nothing seems to speed up on him. Uh, maybe a little slower on our part to get him out there because, you know, he got hit by our hitters a little bit, which, I mean, that's a lot of people are going to. So, um, but really happy for him and uh, going to be a big part of what we're doing going forward. Speaking of your hitters, your, your top four guys, I think, go six or seven for 18 for the night. Just what did you like about what the top four did tonight? Uh, everything. I think, you know, Trey, you know, put a ball and play hard to, to lead off the game. Um, you know, I can't remember what Dylan did in the first inning, but it felt like he was on base every time except maybe the last time. And then really good two-strike at bat by Cade to drive it into the corner. Um, Jacob walked, and then, you know, we hit into a double play there. Um, but it was nice to get three in the first after a wobbly top of the first inning. And then um, it just, like, it seemed like they kept coming up and kept coming up with quality at bats, and they're really talented guys. So um, certainly like to see that. Is there anything you didn't like from tonight? Um, you know, I mean, I'm always going to, you know, nitpick on a few things. Um, you know, we didn't make a couple of plays that we should make, um, but we'll keep going. I mean, I actually believed coming into the year that our infield defense would be a strength of the team, and I still think it can be. Um, you know, we'll keep playing aggressively. We'll uh, keep working them hard and, and be sound fundamentally. So, I mean, you, you could point at that. There was a couple of small things. Um, you know, from an execution standpoint, but we kept getting guys on, getting them over, and getting them in. So, I thought it was a good night. Riley Cooper got a little bit more time tonight. Um, what did you like from him tonight? Everything. I mean, that's kind of what he does. I mean, he throws strikes. He moves the ball in and out. He changes speeds, and he's got big time composure. I mean, he's going to be uh, relied on heavily, and kind of going into the, we had a very clear plan of what we wanted to do with the pitching. Um, you know, he had to get on the mound tonight. Um, it had been too long, and I was glad he did that. And, you know, he, he picked us up. He only threw, like, 30 pitches and got us through, like, two and a third or two and two-thirds, whatever it was. Uh, I know you guys leave early tomorrow morning, but just what, what do you hope to le learn about your team this weekend? I know you touched on it a little bit yesterday, but just. Yeah, I just think it's, I think it's the next game. You know, I mean, it's like you got, you know, brand-name schools, so it catches more people's attention. But we could and may go in there and play great. and. And when all of them, we got a long way to go. And, you know, we may scuffle from time to time, and we still got a long way to go. So we want to win every game that we play. Like, that's what we're trying to do here. Um, but there's also an improvement element as we're doing those things. Um, you know, I'm excited about the challenge, you know, facing, you know, really good pitcher on Friday. And then, you know, obviously a great team on, on Saturday. And I think Baylor beat two, two out of three last weekend, who's, you know, perennial super regional team here lately. So. It's going to be a great competition, and, and we're certainly looking forward. I know our players are looking forward to it. We're just kind of two weeks in now. You've got some decent sample sizes and things. Uh, just kind of talk about the progress the team has made over these two weeks overall. I'm just pleased with um, the approach to what we need to do to be successful. You know, I mean, there's we're trying to win every game that we play, but, you know, we're also trying to build a really solid foundation here of how we go about things, you know. And, you know, culture, all that is, is a way of doing things. And I think that's been really sound so far. And I'm, I'm pleased with the players, and, and that's important, and it's, it's not going to get overlooked. Looking ahead to this weekend, have you given thought to who might be starting on Saturday? No, or? not yet. Um, Blake will pitch Friday. Um, you know, pretty good idea of what we want to do on Friday. 
um, you know, we wanted to obviously win the game against a team we respect a lot tonight and do it in a way where we could have the right pieces lined up for Friday's game. And then, um, you know, we've looked at um, the other two opponents a little bit, but, you know, I've spent most of my time on, on Oklahoma so far, so not ready to go past that just yet. Do you know who Oklahoma might be throwing at tonight? I would assume the same guy that threw him the last two Fridays, Bennett, left-hander, really good fastball and a competitive guy in the zone. You know, it'll be, be good. Looking forward to looking forward to that matchup. He's one of the best, best pitchers in the country. Any update on Javon Coleman at all? Or no, he's still being evaluated, you know, and, and making sure that we have all our ducks in a row to know where to proceed next with that. So, no, sorry about that. Rubianco got to play a little bit tonight. Mm -hmm. How has he been feeling? Healthy, uh, which is great. Um, made a nice uh, play. I mean, it, it looked like a routine fly ball, but it was because he got a nice jump on it. And then good competitive at bat there at the end. You know, fouled off a couple pitches, just missed a home run foul. Um, you know, I think he's a guy that's, that's going to figure – into this thing, so it's good to get him healthy and feel like for the first time I'm not worried about him regressing with the hamstring injury, so that's a good, good thing.